Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed today. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and hope the same for you. If this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, namaste. Love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you. And if you have not already, please like and subscribe. You can hit the notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you feel like you're comfortable enough, go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love to get the positive feedback, and I just love to get the chance to know you more, just like you're getting a chance to know me more. And if you feel like you resonate with this video, please like and share. Give me a thumbs up. It will be greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel and giving a chance to know me. And to my returning subs, what's up fam? Much love to you. Much love. I hope you're having a blessed week also. And I'm glad that you actually took the time out to see about my video today. Thank you so much. It's greatly appreciated. And namaste. Love and light. Love and blessings. And many blessings are yet to come for you too. And today I'm listening to my meditation uh, song I'm listening to is Relax Spa Music, Music for Stress Relief, Relax Music, Meditation Music, and Soft Music, uh, Yin Yang 3416. I will post that link in the description box below. It's very peaceful. You see these candles and it's like you're, you see these incense and candles. Oh my goodness. <laughs> incense and candles. Okay, I didn't catch that, but thanks. Thanks for that but um yeah my video today is about twin flame 101 um living the good life and learning through hard lessons y'all let me tell you i don't know what they got going on up up in the universe today but it got me going and all i know is i just came from outside i've been you know just venting to myself and stuff like that on um, what I've been going through for the last few, few weeks and everything like that, but they just told me today that I've been prepping y'all, <laughs> been prepping, been prepping for the gift that needs to be given to you today. So, um, if you can, can you please grab a pen and paper if you're able to? I hope, you know, you're not listening to my video while you're driving because this ain't the video you need to listen to while you're driving. I need you to be sitting down grab your tea and your pen and your paper because they're telling me it's time for y'all to go to school and it's not something good and, 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 and that not all like oh my god what she got going on and you know I ain't even like school like that you know what I'm saying but I know education is the best thing but you know it's just with me and my attention <laughs> where my attention set up you know hey you know I always like I push education towards my kids don't get me wrong I'm not saying don't stay in school and stuff like that but I'm just saying that was for me and for my kids oh they I mean I got you know two in college and one's about the end another one about the end college so I'm doing good I think I'm doing good for that part but uh no it's not nothing like that where it's just like you know what she got going on but no they're telling me that I need you you need to be able to open your hearts your minds you know be open-minded to what you're, you're you need to listen to um and going through these things um throughout the last few weeks even though the last few years especially with during my awakening you know it really put me in different places it put me in a good place it also put me in a dark place and it's just like after my dad's anniversary happened it really mess with my sobriety i'm not gonna lie to y'all like i tell you i keep it 100 i don't have no time to be self-reliant y'all i do uh since i've had problems with you know struggling with my marijuana issue and it's just like you know you get tired of feeling the way you're feeling especially if you're going on a journey and stuff like that but it's just like with my situation it's so high, high profile on my my father's part that you know it's, it's become a lot it really has become a lot you know I can have people laugh you know in my face I've had people laugh in my face saying you know this is your story I'm like no this is not my story this is my life this is something I'm going through I have no time you know to be wasting <laughs> you know that's something that I, I don't have time to do is waste you know wasting time with anything that is not you know meant to be spoken when it's meant to be but um you know I can't 
you know, really convince you of things, but it's just like when spirit guides tell me, you know, this is your gift and you need to give this to them. And it has to be more than what what they perceive it to be. And this is something that you need to know. Um, so uh, going through this, this is what I have to tell you. <laughs> and it's just like so hard for me to have to say this because it's like it makes me nervous to even talk about stuff like this because I've had people come at me crazy you know and I've had people say negative issues or whatever but it's just like when people are not ready to hear the truth and this is before I found out me being a Hayoka and that's what you do you smack the truth in people's laps you know I try not to you know throw it in people's laps so much to where you know that's something they can't handle I gradually do it to the point where I feel like I'm comfortable enough to talk about stuff because you know a lot of people just you know they said you know there's some people that has been on this journey with me and watching all my vlogs that they know that 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 is the truth you know they just don't choose to speak on it as much because they they might not know how to approach me about it or you know it's something painful for them because you know they the love they have for my father which i understand so but um it's like going through these different things it was just like there was so much that i had to learn about myself so many things i had to heal from and it was just like you know when i wanted to know the truth i had the truth you know and it was just like i, I needed to know that truth about myself so it was just like knowing what my gift is to help me get by day by day this is my gift i need to share with you these are the music and the songs that helped me get by that actually brought me clues to know where i was and who i was about myself and um this is something that you know certain people you know that has been close to me they know these things and it was like a job dropper for them because they've heard these songs so many times and never really you can actually hear a song without really listening to it. And, there, and it, it shocked me because I've done it myself. I caught myself doing it a couple of times. And um, these songs has helped me heal through the life lessons that I needed to learn. And um, it helped me get by to know my truth. And this is my truth to you. Um, if you go to my father's uh, uh, first album for you, which my mother said he dedicated that to me for you. Um, you will, if you ever heard his whole album, you'll hear this song called Baby. And that is the song that really broke my heart because that was the song he dedicated to my mother when she found out she was pregnant with me. And the last words you'll hear him say on that song, if you can't even find it on YouTube or if you just so happen to have the album, go ahead and pull that album out and you listen to that song. And you'll hear him say, you know, uh, I hope that our, our baby has your eyes. And that touched me. You know, he was saying that um, he couldn't barely feed himself, you know. Uh, he was going to try his best to do what he can do to feed his family. You know, he, he was just starting out and just finding out he's 18, scared, you know, just sign, you know, getting ready to sign uh, to a label. And um, then you find out when your, your high school sweetheart is pregnant. Okay, that's one of the songs. So you have to go back and listen to that song. Um, even if you can't find the song, go to go to Google and you can find um, the lyrics to it. Uh, I found that one and I kept that near and dear to my heart, and that that's helped me heal a lot. Just to know because it the first time when I heard, you know, I found out that he was my father. I was just like, does he know? Um, was it just a fling or something and she just didn't say anything or, you know, I just didn't know how that went, went about. Um, if you listen to Computer Blue, if you hear the whole version, not the one that they put on uh, Purple Rain, he didn't, he, I guess he just didn't want to put that part out about that second verse because it would have just basically 
said something that he just didn't want out at that time. And especially he didn't know if my family was looking at it and they probably would have just kept him from talking to me. But if you can go on, um, if you have that album from Purple Rain, you'll hear Computer Blue. And you'll hear, if you hear the demo version or the 13 minute version, 11, 11 uh, minute version, you'll hear that. You'll hear him say, uh, Father, Father, the son is gone. The father, the father left the daughter at the dawn. And then you'll hear the second verse. That's towards the end. But the second verse, he says, where is my baby? Where has she gone? Where is my baby? Where has she gone? He wasn't talking about like a girlfriend, but he was actually talking about his actual baby. And that's another song, The Purple Rain. He always considered me his best friend. Um, every time I heard that song, it took me back to my nightmare that I had stated a long time ago in one of my videos, uh, getting on the brief with my father. Um, I would hear that song all the time playing, like we would be playing in the purple rain, and he would tell me how much I was his best friend. And um, my nightmare will always end with uh, two two people in cloaks dragging me away from him while he's sinking in sick, uh, quicksand tell me how much we loved each other why I see this woman in the dark screaming and crying and I take that was supposed to be my mom and I will always wake up screaming daddy and um that's where that song came from somewhere here on earth um my father uh we always dreamt about each other but my family kept away what I looked like towards him. He would never been able, if he would have knew what I looked like, he would have been able to find me. So he was never able to see uh, what I looked like. They never let him see any pictures of me. Um, he always said towards the end, uh, it was like before I found out on my awakening, I always used to hear somebody whispering in my ear. And I didn't understand where that was coming from. And I'm like, am I going crazy? I'm hearing voices in my ear telling me it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. But this voice sounds so familiar. And then finally, when I heard somewhere here on earth again, the last verse he says, mm, listen, I, um, I know you hear me. It's like that whisper in your ear. You never have to fear me. You're everything I hold so dear. And when I heard that, I cried. I cried so hard, and that song helped me heal so much. Uh, Black Muse, somebody sent that song to me, um, where he says he's wondering where we're going to meet. Um, is it going to produce a son or a Black Moon daughter? That one is about him going through abuse with his father, me seeing him basically going through all this now. Um, the one that brought me chills was Seven when I mentioned this to one of the uh, subs the other day um, where I was in my foyer and I was in my living room and I'm seeing uh, this volcano erupt coming down down the street like basically eviscerating this, this car and it looks like blood a river of blood and when I, I'm hearing that while I'm watching this I'm hearing in the background seven going off and he's talking about a river of blood but if you hear seven from the beginning and you hear Maite at the beginning you hear her whisper and if you can turn the volume up and you hear the song you'll hear her say imagine in the mirror a little girl growing inside the sole heir to a 10 million dollar estate that her father left behind Seven men watch her every move, and her heart grows colder and colder until she meets you. And the last one is uh, you can find on YouTube. Um, him, my dad, Doug, Dougie Fresh, and Shaka Khan did this uh, this 20-minute clip. Um, in uh, London, it's called Cafe to London or something like that, and they do a song called Don't Talk to Strangers, and before they start singing this song, and this is the one that broke my heart the most, is when she says, this is the song that was written by the artist, um, and she decided to put it on her album, it's about leaving a little 
baby behind. You get to, you don't, it's, it's a heartbreaking song about leaving a baby behind. Um, you get to miss them calling your name or get to miss the steps, the first teeth and stuff like that. And it's a heartbreaking song for a baby. And I was just like, that gave me my, my many confirmations on letting me know he's always been there. Tell me not to talk to strangers. You know, he uh, there was nobody going to love him like me. But other people can love me too. So, um, they told me this is the gift that I need to give to you. You need to listen to these songs. What they're presenting to you in the news and on the, the, the websites and stuff is not exactly what it seems. And that's what I was supposed to tell you. And learning these things through my my lessons in life has brought me some closure as well as some answers even though yet there's many many questions that I still have um, and I didn't mean for my video to take so long but uh, it was these things that I needed to share with you and for you to open up your hearts and your minds to know there's more than what it seems that they want to have out and um, and if you can, if you watch the videos or watch, even listen to the songs, just come back and give me a comment down at the bottom and let me know what you think. Um, it'll be greatly appreciated. But yeah, it, it was just like listening to these songs and knowing that there was always love there, that I knew I needed to be on a mission to be able to help myself heal while helping other people. And spirit guides tell me that the videos that I was doing, it was helping me realize there are more than what everything was perceived to be. And as I help myself heal, you will be healed too. So with people that are fans of my father's, that is, you know, his gift to the world. These are the things that he wanted you to know. And you take for what it's worth for what he was trying to give to you. I don't know what that gift was, but he, him and Spirit Guys were telling me this is something that he needed you to know. Just to know that there was, it was always there for you to see. You just probably never paid attention to it or whatever. But um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I wasn't trying to ramble on too much, but it was just something that Spirit Guys told me I had to make, you know, while I feel these heart palpitations. So obviously, it's something that I really need to get out. But um, I hope that, you know, you are able to resonate with these things, and I hope you are able to have an open mind. And when you listen to these songs and you hear what I'm talking about, you'll be able to understand. And I will see you on my next video. Much love to you. Peace and be wild. Oh, yes, drop me a line. You know, please subscribe. Even like and share. If you can, uh, it'll be greatly appreciated. And much love to you. And I will keep you on my prayers. And I hope you definitely do the same for me. And I will see you on my next video. Peace and be wild.